Hi there, welcome to Ben's Astrophotography. In this video, I will talk about the best astrophotography software I have ever used, the Sequence Generator Pro, or SGP for short, by Main Sequence Software. It's powerful because it works like a housekeeper. It can talk to all of your devices same time and coordinate them to get the best result. Like your mount and your camera, if they don't talk to each other, you will let your mount do a go-to and let your camera take a shot. If the target doesn't show up in your camera's field of view, you can probably just scratch your head, gaze at your sky atlas, and make your best guess where it is. But if you let Sequence Generator Pro works like an intermediary, it analyzes the picture from your camera and figures out the coordinates. Then tell your mount in which direction and how far it should go to center your target. You will get your target centered in a couple of minutes with a accuracy counted in pixels. This comes super handy when you have a very ambitious total integration time and have to split it into multiple nights. Another example is PHD2, the guiding software. Without SGP, you will start guiding and then start shooting subs. But since they are not talking to each other, the CCD or CMOS inherent noise pattern will always stay on the same spot. Taking dark frames can fix part of this, but not all of it. What you need here is dithering. This means after a number of frames, SGP will tell PHD2 to shift the guiding star to a random position for a small, medium, or high distance as you wish. You can see how different it is with and without dithering in this theoretical comparison. I am used to a medium dither for each two frames. After I set this up, it will become totally automatic. Also, SGP will monitor how good the guiding is. If the guiding star gets out of the tolerance range you set, because of a wind gust or someone walks by or any other reason, SGP will abort the current sub and start again. Before starting each sub, SGP will also wait for the guiding to settle down for several seconds to make sure it's ready to start. You can also order a PHD recalibration to be run for every new target to ensure best guiding quality. Needless to say, all these functions will help you to save a lot of wasted integration times. As for focusing, if you have an electronic focuser with an ASCOM driver, you will definitely love this autofocusing function. It takes picture with your camera and calculate the average radius of the stars in the field, then move the focuser for a preset number of steps, shoot another picture, and analyze the average radius again. Plotting them on a graph like this, and uh, once the downward and upward trend is figured out, it will calculate a best focusing position and then move the focuser on that exact spot. The whole practice only takes a minute or two and the accuracy is in microns. And again, you can order the autofocus to be performed every hour, every five frames, upon filter change, or even every one degree drop in temperature. Till now, you must figure it out. With SGP running your session as a housekeeper, you become the real master of all your gears. You only need to foresee what will happen, give clear orders, and uh, let SGP execute. What do I do when the sequence started? Well, I will go to bed if it's in my backyard, or I'll do some visual if I'm in a dark site. You can even schedule the sequence and let it start when you have a late night party. Let's wrap up. Sequence Generator Pro is a very powerful software. It can support most astrophotography devices on the market through ASCOM drivers. By making these devices talk to each other, it can automate a lot of tedious tasks, complete them with efficiency, and let you get more pictures and joy from your clear skies. SGP is not a free software. 
but it has a free trial of 45 days. If you are serious on doing astrophotography, I would highly recommend to at least give it a try. If you do that, please leave me some comments about how you like it and tell me if you want to know more about it. I can definitely share more of my experience in future about this. Clear skies and see you next time.